Keep walking towards me. Let us hear you. It's coming, eh? There is knocking. Ho, ho, ho. Come on. We just heard a knock now. Louder. More banging. Come on. So there's a mixture of things, as I've said, I'm very, very much a skeptic, I don't believe in anything, um, however there are things that I've experienced I can't explain, and by god have I tried. Um, there's various things, there has been smells, there has been people felt as, uh, my players, my customers have felt as though they've been pushed out of cells, um, I've had people appear to cross a doorway that looks like a silhouette crossing a doorway. That was caught on film by a, a company that were coming to do a pilot um, and showed me the footage and I've tried to explain that and I can't. Um, my wife personally, uh, well, she will not go in one of the buildings alone. She hasn't been in the building, one of the buildings, G-Wing for probably five, six years. She won't go in on her own. She's just does not feel comfortable in G-Wing at all. Um, she's experienced things inside, she's experienced things outside, from people looking through windows, from smells inside it, um, both of which have been later corroborated by paranormal companies experiencing the same thing in the same location. Um, so yeah, it's, there's been lots, lots of different things found on site, but do I believe in ghosts still? No. Are they corroborated by other companies? Yes. Um, so, who can say? We've probably been open about two years, three years, and he, he was part of a group of six players, and Airsoft is a military-style game, similar to paintball, uses Airsoft guns, um, BB guns, and they breached into the corridor, for want of a word, and they'd seen a silhouette cross the corridor, go from room to room. And all six are adamant that they'd seen this silhouette cross. They went, he's in there, we've seen him going. They cleared the corridor, going down it, checking all the rooms. They got to the room through what we call a grenade in, it's a blank firing grenade in. All breached into the room, there was nobody in it. And he was very spooked by it, um, to the point where he came back a few years later and actually during COVID did a full walkthrough video for me and a few bits and drone, drone footage for me and he completed two buildings, and this must be at least five years after. Completely in ENF wing, no issue at all. I was doing some work on E-Wing, and he came in and said, right, I've got to go G-Wing next. And I was yeah, that's fine. He went, no, I'm going go G-Wing next. I was like, yeah, that's fine. He went, I'm not going in that building on my own. Still very uneasy, can't do it. I had to come over, do it, and as long as he knew I was in the building, he was fine but he would not go in the building without somebody at least being in somewhere within the building that he could share to. He felt very uneasy in the building still. But I have a lot of players that, don't, that find it very uncomfortable in there and are very reluctant to go in. It is dark, even during the day, because we blacked out the windows, so it can feel a bit oppressive. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm used to it because I'm here all the time, but some of the customers do find it quite eerie in that building. F wing, which is the middle building, gets a lot of reports of children on it. Um, they, they get a lot of groups say there's children on F wing in the middle building. Um, lots of boxes moving, kind of thing, and things like that. We get a lot of BBs on the floor, so there's lots of people saying that BBs are thrown at people and things like that, but whether that's somebody kicking them or not, I don't know. That's the cynic in me. Um, but lots of, lots of footsteps. Um, even my marshals, when they've, and this is going away from paranormal groups, my marshals will go in and set games up during the day. And there'll be nobody on site because they'll be in, it'll be during a break, no players are on site. They'll be walking around the ground floor and they'll hear, they'll hear what they think are footsteps upstairs, especially on G and D wing that is, to be fair. There's nobody there. Um, 
and they usually shouting at each other to say, are, are you upstairs, are you whatever? And they'll appear downstairs next to them and go, no, I'm here. Did you hear the footsteps? Like, is there a player upstairs? And they'll nip upstairs. So footsteps is a common thread um, that we hear a lot from not only paranormal groups, but also airsofters. Um, that does seem to be a standard thing we hear quite a lot of. So guys, we are here tonight at Ashwell Prison. We've done this location many, many years ago, um, and we didn't really do it justice because the investigation had to get cut short, unfortunately. But we're here again. We're here tonight with Amy's Crypt, the first time ever working with those guys. It's been a lot of fun hanging out with them today. Um, we've been talking to them and getting to know them. Absolutely amazing guys. Go check out Amy's Crypt. We will be joining up with each other um, during the investigation. But right now, me and Griff, we're going to head into the haunted E-Wing. All on our own. Um, Amy and Gerard are, I think, over on the other side. So it's just going to be us two, and like I say, they're going to be with us a bit later on. But it's amazing to be back here. Um, how do you feel being back here, Joyce? I mean, this place holds a lot of memories to you, don't it? It doesn't hold a lot of memories. It just holds a lot of trauma, I suppose. Yeah. But that's all gone now. We've moved forward in life. Yeah. Um, but it is nice to be back, and it's nice to actually do an investigation at uh, Mashwell Prison, because I never did one before. I think I basically just slated whatever was going on at the time and or did a little vigil in one of the old ways. Yeah, so you weren't much. Tonight we're going to get it and we're going to do loads. Yeah, so, let's so let's get, get in there. It. Let's go straight in. So we, to be fair, we haven't actually walked inside the building. We uh, haven't, yeah, actually. We've been here for about two, three hours and we haven't even stepped foot no, we haven't. inside. So we're going to take you a bit of on a, on a journey. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Park. We get some activity. <laughs> they like grand. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Them big gates. All right then. We... So I'm presuming this is after. <gasps> Daddy long leg right in my ear. <laughs> you, honestly, no, no. guys, if you've been watching our videos recently, it's quite hot in the in the uh, the tropic of England, <laughs> and there's oh, been a the, lot of jump scares. You, James, the, it's on my finger. <laughs> It's just a daddy long, no, mate. No, I don't think that was. I don't think that was a hornet. A fucking hornet at this time of the night. That's why it shook me. All right, then. Let's have a look. Is that the coffin? Straight away. Jump in the coffin, Jace. Yeah, yeah. Let's lock you in. It is a coffin as well. Yeah, he was talking about the coffin earlier, weren't he? Yeah, he was. What the hell is that on top? Um, I think it's a protector from the from the lid. Now he did say a body has been inside this, but the hell's going on? Do you think we would fit in it? Me? I think you might. Looks gummy. Yeah, it's had a dead body in it. Well, let's get the ghost tube up. Ah, oh, we might as well. We moved the creators. We're about to turn on the infamous oh, ghost tuber. I've still not got the premium, even though we've got the uh, the creators here with us and the promised it may be. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> no, they are, I'm giving him cowards, aren't they, James? Yeah. I'm only joking. They've paid us off. Yeah, they've paid us off finally. <laughs> um, I've got Happy come up on it straight away. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I was smiling at the time. Now, this is used uh, predominantly, 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 predominantly. Yeah, it works. So, no, that's what it is. This is used predominantly for airsoft. Um, and ghost hunting and, on the and weekend. And ghost hunting on the weekend. But its main source of money is from um, Airsoft. Now, Airsoft, they shoot BBs and uh, bullets out and stuff like that. So there's plenty of them on the floor. So if we want any spirits to throw something, the objects that we've got around us should be enough. You'll see a lot of props and a lot of bits and bobs in here. <laughs> Well, it's because I went into the ghost tube app. It's put it on airplane mode, like it should have been. It's on airplane mode. 
So Amy's Crips video just come up while I was uh, looking around. I mean, if that ain't a plug, what is? I know. Now, anger could be a really good thing for tonight because there were riots here and that wasn't there. There was. Now, we did hear like a little bang down here as Griff was having a moment. You better blur my uh, card out because people can get my details. I dropped it twice. Hello? Did we close that door? It closes automatically. So a lot of this building has been stripped back. Even though we do have a coffin in room one. So it was a, an open prison. What was it like? A, a, a Category B. Yeah, which means it weren't that brutal to be fair. But they had enough riots, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, this is a lovely looking hallway. A lot of riots. Um, Two riots. First one with four people, and then the second one was with four, 500 people. That goes out the front. 400 people, sorry. So we are in the wing that's shaped like a cross. Should we head upstairs? No. Let's go upstairs. Is that throat sword as well? I don't believe so. No, I think that just goes around more. Oh, it's, no, there's more. Or did you want to just go upstairs and then? No, no, it's all. E2. It's kind of, it looks a bit, um, You know, with all the boxes all over the place. Yeah. Kind of takes away some of that feeling. Yeah, that eeriness. Well, I mean, you've got to think. The car keeps taking them down and putting them on. Nah. It's like here, though, that's a bit eerie going around this little. Yeah. It's like who's behind the wall. So, this is actually some of the, the prison. Really? As I walked past, it was like a. So this is actually some of the prison. Really? It's like who's behind the wall. So this is actually some of the prison. Really? We've heard footsteps. We've been told of footsteps. Told of shadow figures. Told of cologne smells or aftershave smells as we call them in England. We've got a few cells next to us. If there's anybody in these cells, could you knock on the doors, please? And by anybody, I mean anybody. Living. Dead. They're like talking. Either 12 or 11. Dead. Is that what I'm Did you hear that? There was a knock in one of them rooms. Dead. Is that what I'm talking? Are you in room 12? Because I did hear a knock and I just don't want to come in. What is your name? 
My name is Jason. My name is Ste. Now I heard a knock from number 12. Open the door. If you want me to come in, then can you make a noise please? Because I will come in. Porn. Porn. Core? Core or porn. Oh, poor. Yeah. Poor. Poor. Who's poor? I think I remember this a bit, Jace. I think this is the, the one visual B you did do with us. <laughs> My camera work up here. I think it said come here. Let me have a quick look. Yeah, I think this is the... Uh, this was the section. Why is it all coming back to me? Coming back to me. Up here. Yeah, we are, we are indeed up here. So Spirit, what we're going to do, we're going to introduce ourselves. I know we said our names downstairs. My name is Steve, I'm here with Griff. Oh, yeah. We've heard stories of people hearing footsteps. We've heard stories of faces being caught in the window. Smell of aftershave. The voices of children. We've heard it all. And now we're here to see it for ourselves. Could you walk down this corridor towards us, please? I remember getting cinematics around here. Remember this yellowness? Oh my God. Right. See if we can create it again, look. Look on that door. I just done that. Oh yeah. So it's like a shadow just po uh, poking its head around the corner. But not tonight, guys. This is the uh, junction. Yeah. Through door. Could someone just walk between the two doors at the end of that corridor for us? If you could do that, that would be amazing. Is that talking? Yeah. How's that good man? Like two blokes normally. Is that talking? Hello? That was legitimately like two blocks. It was like, oh. Yeah. Could you make them fight? Fight? Oh, you got yours on. Is that yours or? That said bite. 
we did hear was Sandy like a male's voice, two male's voices. Talking. To me it sounded like it come from like down down below. Yeah, it did. It didn't sound like it was on this floor. Same that way. Spirit Come scare us. Scratch. Bite. No scratch. Scratch. Are you in this cell? That I'm showing you my lighting? If you are, put your face to the glass. I'm stuck. Well, you better get unstuck. Because we want to talk to you. Yeah. I just heard walking like Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, dum, dum. I just heard walking like Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, dum. I just heard walking like Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, dum, dum. This sort of, I mean, the claims, the claims of walking. Hmm. Teapot. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> so the claims of walking, we've heard some. Yeah, we heard. Like, fuds, we've heard voices. What well, sounds like voices. Yeah. Not saying it's concrete evidence. I mean, look how glistening this nose is. Sweating. Yeah. It is hot. It's real. I need to take this with you off in a minute. So, some of it might be true. Yeah. Because we're, we're experiencing some stuff right now, and we've we've literally only just got started. We've been here for seven hours. Is there anything that you want to ask on this wing? Um, we've been getting a lot of words. Scratch and bite. We said earlier, you have our permission if you want to do those things. I'm Stay. not... Stay. An aeroplane. No, it, was, it wasn't the aeroplane, it was before that. It was like a... Yeah. Okay. There's reports of children that have been heard here. Which is weird, because obviously this, is a, this used to be a male's prison. Is that a cupboard behind you? I think so. I feel like I've been bit. Oh. <laughs> Near scratchy. And I just scratched it. So, spirit, if there is a spirit here, if there is somebody that can hear me, if there is somebody that wishes to talk to us, or even if you don't, walk down this corridor towards us. Walk down this corridor towards the sound of our voices. Do not stop until you get to it. Keep walking. We can't hear you. Keep walking. Come on. Who? Oh. Keep walking towards me. Keep walking towards the sound of our voices. We cannot hear you. If you are here, use our energy. Let us hear you. It's coming, eh? There is knocking. We cannot hear you. You have to be louder. Keep walking.
It's in the dark. Ho, ho, ho. Come was... on. We just heard a knock now. Louder. More banging. Come on. Speak to us, spirit. Ho, ho, ho. That Come was... on. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. We're coming towards you then. You scared? Run away then, run away. Run away. Run away, we are coming. It's what? Run away then. It's what we want. We're back in the middle. Where are you? We're coming over to the left now, the left wing. E2. Come on. Run away or walk towards us. I feel that you are in your presence. You want this. Who wants it? <laughs> what are you laughing for? Yeah. So I'm going to stand in the middle of the lights. It's very hard for me to keep still anyway. So what we've done, we've teamed back up with Jared and Amy. Did you we've... get that right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, so we've come back downstairs because this is where we believe we heard the, the talking, didn't we? Like there was like murmuring, like two men talking, which was quite crazy because there was only me and Griff in the, um, in the building. Amy and Jared were nowhere to be seen, so we've just teamed back up with them. They've got some of these amazing lights that they've thrown Griff um, in the circle. We've got REM pods. And what's this device again? Can you just explain to the audience, Jared, what this is? Yeah, so this, uh, this reacts to EMF. So just to demonstrate, I'll put my phone near it so you can sort of see it trigger. There you go. So it's kind of like a, um, a REM pod, a Melrim, but it only triggers with uh, EMF, which is pretty cool to be fair. Um, I think we're going to get something like that. Be quite well, interesting. So we don't get used. <laughs> we'll use it. We'll use it. Um, and what's Amy got uh, going on there? So she's got the headphones, the enhancement headphones, basically. Yeah, we call these lucid headphones. So basically anything in the environment, like my own voice right now, or when you guys speak, it's all amplified. Everything's super loud. And it also comes for a digital recorder. So it's kind of like an EVP session but doing it live in the moment. So theoretically, if we were to capture an EVP or a strange noise right now, I should definitely be able to hear it, like more so than anyone else. Yeah. Okay, just don't move, Griff. So he's got a habit of destroying lights. We call this a circle of doom as well. So Griff, just FYI. <laughs> I'm all right. Yeah. I, am, I am the doom. <laughs> Now, if so, there are any spirits around and you want to come and mess with our circle of doom, we would appreciate that. It will not hurt you, I promise. What the? Uh, I'm not moving at all. I was not moving either. I was adjusting, so that could have been me, but that shot it in the room. What was that? What was that other noise? I feel like it came then? from here. What was um, that other noise? Because it was like it was a, a little baby. It was like a chunk, and then the baby. I, is your tread, I, have you tread on something else? I'm actually... So there is something there, yeah. There are like little bullets. I want to say it came from this way, but I actually don't know. Exactly. I actually think it did come from over, over there, near Steve. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, uh... We would appreciate that. It will not hurt the other What the? Uh, I'm not moving at all. I was not moving either. I was adjusting, so that could have been me, but that shot it in the room. That. It will not hurt you, I promise. What the? 
I, I'm not moving at all. I was not moving either. I was adjusting, so that could have been me, but that shot at the room. So, obviously, you've got these enhanced headphones on, and we, me and Stay, heard a voice upstairs, it sounded like a man that was talking. So, if you want to call out for a, a man's voice or a spirit to come into this room. Okay. My name is Amy and I'm visiting Ashwell Prison tonight with my friends. I've got Gerard here. <laughs> I've I got like that. <laughs> I prefer Gerald. <laughs> Gerald. Gerald. I've good. got Gerard, I've got Steve and I've got Griff. We're all very friendly. So we just wanted to ask if there are anyone, is, if there is anyone around, could you please join us? No, I feel like I heard voices. I don't know. Shit, like. I've got to be good with these headphones. <laughs> Where do you think it sounded like they come from? Could you tell? The thing with these is, oh, that was definitely me. Yeah. The thing with these is it amplifies, but it gives no direction. Okay. So I can't really tell. I would say I feel like it's down this way, but. Yeah. Did it sound like a man or? Like children? It sounds like distant, muffled, maybe more man, if I had to say. Okay. Is that the spirits that we heard from upstairs earlier? Because those are the people that we would like to talk to. So when me and Stephen was upstairs, it sounded like you was talking about us. Maybe you can come into this room where we are now and talk then. It's my stomach. You could have, they could join you in the circle of death. Yeah, I'll, I'll, or is it the circle of doom? <laughs> the circle of doom. We don't <laughs> want to kill him. I'm, I'm just happy that uh, it's not me. I'm just happy that it's not me standing in the circle of doom. <laughs> For a change. So I'll explain how all this works as well, but I want the voices more than anything. So I'm standing currently in a circle of lights. They like to call it the circle of doom. All of these objects that are around me will go off if you come near me, spirit. So if you are in this room, but you can't talk to us, you could easily walk towards me, which would be fantastic. And some of these lights will go off, depending on what direction you're coming from. Again, we are not here to hurt you, even though you might be here to hurt us. Oh, this is my ankle, I think. No, it, 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 was, it was like a... Oh, uh, the, mm, mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. I heard that too. But I thought you meant my ankle. Did you hear it, Amy? I didn't. I, I honestly, like, I hear... This sounds so consistent that I'm almost like there's a noise somewhere that I'm hearing. So shall, can we, like, I know you don't want me to leave the circle of doom, but I'm more interested about this. So can we, can we walk and stand still and see if we're going in the right direction? Yeah. Come on. Because I'm, I'm more interested about these voices because they did sound really good when we was upstairs. It was amazing. So if we walk down, oh. Oh, that was me smacking the K2. If we walk oh. down here, can you, can we stand here, Amy, and we yeah. can see if we can... We'll get back in the circle of doom in a minute. Don't worry, guys. It'll be back. All right, everyone be quiet so Amy can listen. I'm not sure, I feel like I can hear your voice, but maybe you can do another noise for me. Maybe you can knock on something like this. Ooh. Hear that? I heard that. I think that was just... Oh, okay. Jace. <laughs> so 
Does somebody else want to have a go? Because I feel like I am hearing it so consistently. Can I have a listen? Yeah. Please. Oh. Can't come up with me. Yeah. There you go. Better now? Check, check. 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 Well, can check. I hear you? It's amplified noise. Two, two. Yeah, my <laughs> Right, back on. Let's go somewhere yours. Yeah. So I can have a... It's weird listening to yourself again, eh? It's so weird. Can you hear it, Jace? I'm just listening. Okay, so a few moments ago, Spirit, Amy said she was hearing some voices. Me and Griff have heard something very similar. He's wearing a device now where he'll be able to hear you more clearly. Could you talk? Could you give him a message? Careful, there's a REM pod there, I believe. Yeah, there it is. Should I be following him? I don't know. <laughs> he, <laughs> he, he just, he just wanders off. Are you alright? <laughs> <laughs> I believe we are following him. Three no, cameras. Just be quiet, just be quiet okay. a sec. Okay. Spirit, can you bang on a wall for me, please? Just show me where you are. Use noise to direct me to you. I could wear these all night. <laughs> He's a fun. fun. Likes the sound of his own voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are cool to wear. It's quite good, isn't that? Yeah. yeah. You lose yourself what in your own voice. I love it, I do. I, mean, I love stuff like that, though. So it's kind of like you can hear literally everything. Yeah. So it's kind of like it's it's nice because. But the problem is, is when everyone's moving, it's like. Wah, yeah, wah. I can imagine. But to be honest, the device itself is really good. I feel like I was hearing voices, but it was so consistent that I'm not sure that it was actually voices and maybe interference from another noise, if that makes sense. Hmm. But at the start, it definitely sounded more like a voice than it did later as I moved. So, Like, did it sound like more like voices muffled in amongst the ambient noise sort of thing? Yeah, it was, it was faint even on those. Like, yeah. It wasn't like a very clear, like, I wouldn't say it was anything clear. Could you follow us back to the circle of doom, please? Could you follow us all the way into that room and show us that you are here? We're gonna go back there now, after I smash the REM pod. And we're going to see if the colors change. Now I know that I've stood inside the circle of doom and I mean, it's not a very nice name to call it if I ask you to go and stand in there. But is there any chance that you could stand in this circle, please, for me? Are you too afraid to jump back in, Jess? No, I'll go back in, but I'll, I'll be nice to see some colours. None of this can hurt you. These ones are actually my favourite. If you come up to them, you can make some pretty lights and some sound. When you've just got the app on? Yeah, well, I've got it on. I said nothing. Shit up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. I hope you know that that's, that's just who I am. Yeah. No, we're done here. We're leaving. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> We've just switched out with uh, Jared and Amy after we'd done a, an experiment with the um, 
lens, is it? Yeah, the, the Ghost Seer. Ghost Seer. Ghost Tube Seer. On Ghost Tube Lens. So, what is he called? Was he just called Ghost Tube Lens? Or? Yeah, I think the Ghost Tube Lens, yeah. So, we just did an experiment on Holy the... shit, did you hear that? What? It was that rumbling again. I did that. Okay. So, it could have been me. Yeah. So, guys, we just switched over with um, Amy and Jared. Uh, we did a experiment. Um, which will be exclusive to their channel if you want to go over and watch it. The first we, time ever using the Ghost Tube Seer, which was quite fun, I think. Yeah, it was. It was good. Um, I got to use the mask and stuff, so it was quite fun. So if you want to watch that, go over to their channel and watch it. And that's obviously Amy's Crypt. And we've switched with them now. They've gone into the other buildings and we've moved into... It, what's what's this block called, Stu? Is it G-Wing? G-Wing. Because we we started in E wing and that's where they've gone. G, over uh, yeah, E G F E F G F G B F G. So um, yeah, we switched it to G wing. And now this this wing in itself is supposed to have the most paranormal activity, the most stories, the woman's yeah. fat. Neil. Neil. So I'm not going to kneel. I'm sitting down. Oh, you don't kneel in those. No, it's a kneely kneel. Um, so yeah, this is the place where everyone's scared of. People don't like to come into here. It's got very dark energy. This is where the lady was seen, the face in the in the window. Yeah. So we've got all of that. So what we're going to do is stay in here for a few hours, maybe an hour, maybe longer. Who knows? Yeah. And only us. So we're in the hallway of G Wing. We're at the top where we've they've seen apparitions. I have got a ghost tube up on my uh, leg in fitting with the people that we're with tonight. There is a mail ramp also down the bottom of the other corridor. The other end of the corridor, I should say. So if you could walk towards the sound of our voices, maybe bang on one of these doors. Or show yourself to us. Stephen's been wanting to see a spirit all night and I mean all well, for the past seven years <laughs> I was gonna yeah. I was gonna say yeah Neil again is that Neil as in someone's name as in nice. N-E-L-A yeah Neil as in or as in Neil Dane is there anything you'd like to ask it Stephen so we are quite drained no we're not I'm, I'm active and ready it's been, a, it's been a long night. It's been a fascinating night. It's been a lot of fun hanging out with Amy, meeting her for the first time, hopefully not the last. We've done some different experiments that we've never done before. But one thing that's missing is definitive proof of the paranormal. We heard voices. We heard footsteps, possibly. We always seem to hear things like that. When are we gonna get the next step? When are we gonna get something moving? Something being thrown? Seven years we've been doing this. This place has got a reputation of being one of the most haunted prisons in England. And so far, from personal experience, I'd put it down as one of the worst. Jesus. Shepton Mallet, I'd say, is one of the best. Gloucester was a lot of fun. Shrewsbury was pretty good. I, know, I was going to say, imagine being a ghost. Yeah, I know. Deflated. Him just there. Yeah, pathetic. <laughs> Pointless. Might as well not have even tried to growl at us or walk down the corridor or any of the little things yeah. that you've done. <laughs> you know, basically, our episode is nothing. Uh, I'm just, I, I, just, I just say, it just in case, he just goes, okay, fucking have this then. Yeah, it's always, it's always a good um, way of doing stuff. Okay. So I think what we're going to do Spent a bit of time I love that line. What? I think what we're going to do. 
You love it. Yeah, it's your, it's one of your staples. Is it? Yeah, that means the episode's going to end. <laughs> I think that's enough for tonight. It is. I think what we're going to do is we're going to pack the cameras away. We're going to get some B-roll. And we're going to fuck off. Catch you on the next one, guys. Peace.